What's up, you guys? It's Jesse from Bands 411. We are here with a War Within. Guys, go ahead and say hello. 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 I was ready to harmonize, and no one else was. <laughs> oh. If you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves for the lovelies who should know you, but probably don't. Well, just in case you don't know who I am, I'm Colin Farrell, and if, if <laughs> you haven't seen my movies, you should check them out. I haven't done one recently. And he's stuck in a phone booth too. Uh, Bruce Willis just wants to kill me for some reason. Hi, my name is Spencer. Maybe, and uh, I'm in this band. Uh, who are you? My name is Zach. I play bass. Hi, I'm Nikhil. I'm in this band also. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not like a question. I think there's a big old question mark. And who's this? Hi, I'm Roy. I'm the new guy, the drummer. He's the new guy. He gets hazed the most. The FNG right there. So who came up with your guys' band name and how did you guys oh, come God. up with it? Not me. I think it's stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's... it's no, like, no, it's cool, man. literally when this project... Well, I, it just came to me. When no, shut up. <laughs> oh my God, no. When this project started, it, like, always when you start a project, like, naming it is so crucial, because this is what you're going to have to call yourself the entire fucking time. This is what when everyone asks, oh, what's your band name? If you you got to say... All right, can, we, can I ask you a better question? Because, like, the history of the band, it's literally, like, man, a war within sounds good, because we're just so indecisive. We have, Like, we have a war within is really kind of mm -hmm. how we described it, but... How about let's let's ask this question. Can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Reversing the roles. For everyone who didn't found the name, yeah. which is everyone which but is me. Zach. <laughs> yeah, which is Zach, right? For everyone but me, what would you call this band instead? What would be a good band name? Go. <laughs> Zach, it was like, so Zach, how'd you come up with the band name of War? Something fucking I don't know, trendy like War, but just with like a four for an A or some bullshit. So it's like Paris or something. You would just say War, but with a four as the A. Okay. Maybe it's something, something, something I don't trendy. Know, dude. I'm just I'm saying. What was your band name? I'm glad I already had a name because I could never have come up with a band. So name. nothing. What's your yeah, band name? Band names are tough. I, I got nothing. Oh, look at that! I win. Although Except for Zach, because he made there it. There is tough. there is Nikhil back. That's I've been Nikhil. Back. I've been rolling that one around in my, my That's going to be your side project years, yeah. for sure. How did you all meet? So, let's see. Since I started the, the band. The internet, just 100%. I met Christmas? him. Basically, one of our my old members met him on YouTube. Yeah. And then he came over, and I'm pretty sure the first time he met, he farted as he left the room. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he left, like, really quick. I think it's because he farted. So, That's our great. old drummer was his best friend. And... Well... I don't know about that. Well, right. whatever. They, they, they were acquaintances. Well, <laughs> our old drummer, an old colleague, knew this guy <laughs> all the way from California. We're here in Detroit, so that's that's how we met. His internet, yeah. I guess, right? Yeah. And then he's from Facebook. Toledo. Although maybe and, uh, not the internet, because maybe we played a show with you, or was it the internet? Yeah, no, we played with him. Uh, I swear. Well, you came out to. We played a the uh, Toledo Music Fest. Did yeah. you play that? Yeah, I played with so him. Not band. the internet. That was real life. Yeah, this one we met in person. Uh, I bought some sunglasses off you guys, and you don't the remember. The rest was history. And I have then, no idea. And then, like, I oddly enough didn't send you guys friend requests, and then a year later, I'm in this band. <laughs> Magic. So, out of the places y'all performed, where has your favorite venue been? I would like to say collectively as a band, like Salt Lake City is one of the top, say, the the top places. Salt Lake City. And uh, uh, Pensacola, Florida are like two of the top yeah, places we've Anywhere ever in Florida. For me, it was Florida. Webster Hall in New York. That was the coolest New York venue. City? Yeah, that venue was awesome. Yeah, it's like an old, well, any place that is place called... shut down now, right? No. Webster Hall? No, it's no, still no, going. It's like the, There's like guess, four rooms in the place. Yeah, it's, it's like a big place. It's massive. Um, it's, it used to be owned by, uh, what's his name, Al Capone. For real? Webster yeah. Hall was? Yeah. Wow. History. History. Yeah. History lesson, guys. Places called Hall and Theater are usually really old and really nice. Yeah. Usually. Not all the time. Who writes your guys' songs and what are your guys' main themes for the songs? Don't be peeping. We actually, um... No peeking we, allowed. We actually play pay b to write all of our music and then we kind of just like make it sound worse. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. writes a beautiful album for us and then we're like, how can we fuck this shit up? We go, uh... That's actually, lots of zeros and ones. That's actually exactly right. right. Does Why would I lie about this? Yeah. I don't want to know, so can we bleep out his name? He's like a ghostwriter, so we're not actually supposed to say his name. <laughs> He's just there. Uh, no, like, we, uh, collectively, we will come with an idea, and then we'll all basically, like, pick, pick it apart. Mm -hmm. And if it really sucks, like, we'll, we'll rehash it until it's, like, chiseled into a yeah. beautiful sculpture. Mm -hmm. So what has your guys' biggest challenge been as a band, and how did you overcome that? No, I feel like overcome this is a perfect that. question for you. Uh, <laughs> Our biggest challenge. I mean, I guess we we're, we kind of have still a challenge. Like we're really trying to get this thing rolling, mm -hmm. and that's that's tough. Um, but we're working on it. You know, we got some I don't stuff know, my going personal on. opinion, I'd say members has always been a huge problem. Mm -hmm. You know, finding people that are The whole, the whole December tour was tough too. 
I challenge you guys to find a band that's been beaten down as hard as we have. Like, and it, and if you don't understand what I mean, but when I say that, mm -hmm. hit us up on on the internet. Like, literally, hit me up and come come talk to me and, and ask me the question. Be like, yeah, I know somebody who's gone through the same shit as you guys have, and uh, and it's still continuing. Yeah, they're still pulling mm -hmm. through because it's like. Like no matter where you turn, like in life, it, it works. It's mm -hmm. like the struggle it never disappears. It, it just kind of changes faces, and like each like each marker in our lives as a band mm -hmm. has made us unbelievably stronger. It's like at this point, it's like yeah. you you could just like drop a plane on us, and we'd somehow find a way to keep going. Like you turn into really a concert good. venue, and you guess that's what you're right. It's like yeah, like I'm I'm waiting for the next like one of us is probably gonna die next. Like no, be the next, no, like, you are not. Like and that's it will how, be while seriously. he's driving. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Nigel will just kill us all while he's driving. We'll all, we'll all just die. <laughs> I know you guys have a shit ton of social media. What are your most popular ones that you guys have? Because we'll put them in the links down below so everybody can go check you guys I, out. I feel like uh, uh, as far as popularity, I would go Facebook, Instagram, well, YouTube. I would put the, yeah, YouTube, if you want to check something out, Spotify. go to YouTube, YouTube and Spotify. Mm -hmm. What is your guys' favorite memory been with this band so far? Oh, God. Let's go around. Let's, go, let's, start, let's start backwards. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Roy. My best memory is like the second time I ever hung out with you guys. You came up to me, no context, and you were like, hey, do you like to get naked? Well, you do now. And then just walked off. Welcome to what we were then. <laughs> <laughs> See, it wasn't yeah. what you thought you were. So yeah, that's, that's what happens on the Bahamas, my feet will No, if you ever meet me and it's not in a professional professional setting, I will literally be as naked as possible. <laughs> The first time I actually like came in, flew in to play with this band, oh. he actually was stripped in his freaking like banana hammock, just comes up and jumps on me, and straight just like starts humping me. It's like, oh my god! I try to, at shows, I try to keep that shit under wraps because I might scare people. I feel like I frighten people. <laughs> Is that your best memory? Meeting me for the first time? It was actually pretty fun one. I like the shows where people are like moving around a lot. Yeah. Those are fun. I'd like to say my. I'm, I'm gonna do two. Uh, um, That's not a lot. I'm gonna say my favorite. My favorite two <laughs> memories. I'm gonna do one good and one bad. I'll start with the good one. The good one is when we play Pensacola for the second time. Every show at Pensacola is awesome. The is first it? one. The first one. This dude. We played it. Bomb shells. Yeah. yeah. This dude just runs up towards the stage, kicks off the front, does a backflip oh, yeah. while I'm singing. Like that. Was, I was like, holy shit! I didn't know people could do that. Yeah. So as we're finishing, like it was my part of the set. Uh, I literally got the whole room to jump. So like four, three, four, a hundred people jumping with me. It was, it yeah, was dope. It was dope feeling. It was the first time that happened to me. The, the second one would be like uh, um, we played in Georgia. I mean, this happens, but this is just popping in my head right now. This happens all the time, where like people like you will come out. Uh, this kid. Oh, we talk about the Asian guy. Yeah. This yeah. kid. Was was he from China? He was from out of the country. Yeah. So he's like a foreign ex exchange student. That was incredible. We played at this tiny little. It was like a deli, and they had like a wrestling ring. It's this crazy venue in in Ringgold, Georgia, which is like maybe like an hour south of Nashville or Atlanta. whatever. Atlanta. It's like an hour hour north of Atlanta, something like that. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But this kid came to see one of the other bands, he took, he took and a he took a bus three for three hours to come see them. And he like obviously watched all the bands, but like in a foreign people country, like that, he barely spoke yeah. English, man. He was, was going to school somewhere in Atlanta or something that like that. That was awesome. Yeah, that dude. But was people sick. like that, like people like you, who actually drove, drove two and a half hours <laughs> yeah. to come hang out. I didn't show. drive. My roommate drove. <laughs> <But> whatever. <laughs> like people I, who I come. People like your roommate. <laughs> people like like Sabrina, if you're watching yeah. this. People like Sabrina will drive from fucking, you know, Timbuktu to fucking come. <laughs> hang out with yeah, us she, man she so you people out there that are watching that, that if that's you you're my I, I shouldn't have said bad memory but you're like my my heartfelt memory that is all the questions we have for you guys so I want you guys to go check out a war within and links down below don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as always stay amazing and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys bye, bye. All this B-roll's got to be in your so, footage. All this, all this. Uh, <laughs> okay. That was close.